Hey everyone, we're going to do something a little different today. In the vise we have a three quarter ounce stand up style football head jig and the color is, this is, the paint is um, Candy Gill. It's really dark and I'm hoping I can get some better light on here to try to show this a little bit. It's a really uh, deep green with all kind with there's uh, red, blue, and green uh, glitter in here. It's really fine. Um, it's fantastic. It's a really good color, and I'm sorry my camera and lighting isn't better that I could really showcase this color. But uh, what we decided to call this with this pattern is Green Candy Magic. And there's a reason why. We're using two different colors. It's going to be a 64-strand skirt. And the colors we're using is a full tab. Now, I have this cut in half. But this is Zoom Watermelon Magic. And you could, I don't know if you could see or not. Uh, the camera does not do these colors justice. This this thing it really pops uh, with the, the flake in it. A lot of flash. And the other tab we're using, this is Green Pumpkin Candy. And what I want the Green Pumpkin in here for, this Green Pumpkin Candy, is it has this purple flake in it. Uh, I know you really can't see it, but it also darkens up this watermelon that it matches the paint more. So we're going to get started here. Uh, like I said, this is a three-quarter ounce stand-up football head. The hook is a 5 watt Trocar 60-degree heavy wire flipping hook. Uh, I like them. I know a lot of people, It's uh, some people claim that they have the points fold over. I've had that happen with the, every cutting edge point hook I've used. I've had owners that fold it over. I had Gamma Gatsus fold over and Trocars. They, so it's something, it's one of the, the things that you have with these cutting point hooks. But you, it sticks them. If they, if they eat it, they're stuck. They, it, I really have no issues with these hooks. I like them. So let's get started here. We're going to use some two tendon air flat wax nylon and get our base started. Now, one thing I will tell you with this stand up design, when I first started uh, playing with it, is if you see in the back, right here it attaches to the head, and then when you go, you can see it's on, on an angle. This bends deep this goes deeper on the back than it does on the front and it's to keep it at an angle uh i'm not going to wrap the thread all the way down to that part i'm only gonna do it right to the front because what i noticed the first time i ever did anything with this uh i tried to uh wrap the thread all the way to the bottom on the back and up here and it ended up my skirt was long here and it was short in the front. It was it was messed up. So I learned the hard way. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our Zoom Watermelon Magic and I'm going to tie this in. It's a half a tab. We're going to use a full tab, but I going to I cut it in half. It's easier. Put half on one uh the top half on the bottom and you're good to go it, it makes it real easy to distribute your material you don't get stuck with like real heavy spots in, in uh, one one side and the other side is a little bit light doing it this way you get it pretty even I flip it up do the same thing now this is where you got to be careful you're going to make sure that your skirt tabs are the same. That's how I found out. I was like, oh, you know, I, I just eyeballed it. I've done so many of these that it's really not an issue. 
and all of a sudden I pull it out of the vise and it looked kind of weird and I'm like, oh boy, that didn't come out so well. And that's what it, that's what it was, is I tied the skirt in on an angle to match the thread and I shouldn't have. I should have just kept going just like a normal style head. So we got our watermelon magic tied in. The next one we're going to do is this green pumpkin candy. Again, I'll just line it up that way. Half a tab. Make sure we got this half and half. And you see, I wrap it pretty good before I, I go on to the back side. And the reason I do that is this is a large football head. So what happens is when your material lays across it, it wants to bunch up in one spot. So I, I make sure I tie it pretty, you know, wrap it pretty tight before I go on to the back. And the same thing. I'm going to take what I have back here. Normally you can just eyeball it, but for me, uh, this particular head causes me fits. It just never seems to work out. I always seem to be tying it on an angle. I look at it and say, oh, that can't be right. It looks a little too too shallow at the, the top of the jig. Oh, I didn't leave enough skirt material. And then when I tie it, I pull it out and it's like, oh boy. <laughs> completely uneven. I just want to make sure I have material going over the sides. Like I said, with this bigger head, it likes to bunch the material up in the center. So you have to be diligent. All the way. Now, the last thing, another half tab of the watermelon magic. Again, line it up what we already have tied in. Work it so we got half and half. Sometimes you have to put an extra wrap in or two. I know people, um, one question I get asked a lot is why I like the thread so much over like wire tying and all. And there's nothing wrong with wire tying. I do it myself. Um, if I, I do it for patterns that I want, um, that I want the material separate. Like uh, sometimes I, I tie a black blue jig that's black and it, the blue is on the bottom. And when I do that, I can wire tie that and have a really nice jig uh, because I wanted the color separate. I wanted them to be that way. But when I do natural patterns or when I want something to have that modeled appearance, I like the thread because it allows me to do just what I'm doing here adding the material in layers and different color for each layer so that way when uh, you see it, it in the water especially it has a, a modeled appearance it, it doesn't it doesn't look like the colors are separated but instead there um, there's a depth to it just like you know a really good uh, clear coat on a car, you know, with certain colors like uh, plum crazy and all. There's a depth to it. And it's the same way with this. Whether it makes a difference to the fish or not, I doubt it. But I do know uh, there's times where I've done really well versus uh, guys that are fishing with me that are struggling and are using just normal everyday colors. And here, 
where I fish, the, it, the waters are, are pressured. I'm going to take one of these little hair clips now and get this bottom material out of my way. That's kind of what you what happens is the pressure here everybody draws the same thing so I kind of develop patterns and colors that I want to try to keep natural but I want them different than what everybody else is throwing so you have that you're trying to balance out making something different yet something the fish still want to eat just need a couple more wraps here to make sure our collar is nice and secure because this is a big head. And now we can go ahead and whip finish this. Two, three, four, five, six. Snug it up. Same way. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Pull it tight. Now we're going to add our head cement, which is the loom water based head cement. And again, Sally Hansen's. Or Loctite is perfectly fine. This works because it dries pretty fast. It goes on milky. Don't worry about that. That's how it's supposed to look. But it will dry quick and it does a good job of sealing the threads up. So I have no, no issues with this stuff at all. It dries lickety split. So now I'm just going to take my scissors here. Uh, I need the big ones, my larger scissors. Line everything up. Slice and dice. looks pretty good and now we're going to add our weed guard we take this out of the vise we're going to get our Loctite super glue gel control and yes you do need the gel control if you're going to use super glue for the simple fact is if you use regular super glue it will wick up the fibers and it'll be all nasty and white. And there you have it. You see that no matter how you look at this, now since it's it's stand up, it sits like this. Now your skirt's normal. But if you go like this, you see how it looks shorter here? But on that 60 degree tilt because that's how it sits in the water. It actually will sit up. Um, and it does a really nice job, believe it or not. I actually bought some of these heads before I got the mold because I wanted to see how I, I would like them. And um, it's a really nice head. But that's a that, that pattern there, that has a lot of flash to it. This is really nice when the sun's shining. You got a little bit murky water. Um, this color is nice. It's natural, but it's got a ton of flash. So give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, guys.